G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now I think this is really going to bring you some value today and really enhance the speed at which you can create a data collection machine uh, with no development at all. And that is the new forms experience sitting on top of Microsoft Lists. Now list forms are now going to be created quickly and, and give you the ability to be shared via a link to anyone within your organization. And the recipient, the person that receives these links only needs to focus on filling out the details without seeing that entire list. Now all submitted responses are going to appear immediately as new list items. From there, it's really just like any other list item in a list and you get all the benefits of formatting and automations and commenting and everything that you normally would. Now, list forms are obviously going to work well for tracking recruitment items, managing orders, intake of customer issues, file expenses, and there's many more things that list forms are going to be able to help you facilitate. Now, we see solutions built all the time with out-of-the-box list forms and things like that. And a lot of times, everyone can see all the list items. So with these new forms, we're going to uh, really enhance that user experience by just being able to share that link only to the form. And we can separate the, the data collection and the form from the actual management of the data itself. So how does this all work? Let's dive in and have a look. So we can see here, I'm just on the Microsoft Lists home experience. I'll click the new list and then what we will do is just use an out of the box template that now come with uh, Microsoft Lists from Microsoft. Let's use our travel requests template here. We can see we get a preview of the list itself, the columns that are going to come with our list. Let's use this template. Now we can change obviously where we save this to. So it's either my lists or we can have a recent site. Let's pop this on our intranet. So we'll go the landing, we'll show it in the site navigation and then we will click create. That's gonna spin up our list in that location. We're not taken to the SharePoint site though, we're taken and kept in the Microsoft lists experience, but that has been created and provisioned in that particular SharePoint site. Now, what we'll see at the top here is that we've got this new button called forms. So when I click forms again here, I'm, I've got a dialog box that opens and I can create my new form. I'll hit create and then I'm taken to the editor. Now I'll give my uh, form a title. So let's go travel requests. Um, and on the right hand side, we can customize what columns sh are showing in our form. Now we don't want this approved uh, button when we're filling or the, the option to when we're filling out the form. So we'll just remove that. We can move our, our sections up and down or our fields up and down and change the order if we want to. We can also change our theme. So we've got four pre-configured uh, themes here. We can create our own style based on the theme color also. So we'll jump back here. We've got a settings um, option where we can toggle whether we want to accept responses or not, and we can uh, change the confirmation message as well. Now, once we're done designing, we can have a preview and then we can also send the form. So we get a link to our form and then we can send that to or even add that as a quick link on our SharePoint site or something like that. We can send that across to the people that need or make it available for people that need to fill that out. Now, I've just pasted that into another window and we can see here that this is the user experience. So we can see we've got our, our trip title. So we'll Go uh, Sydney Workshop. We can fill this out. The requester is uh, is admin, so we'll just pop in admin. We'll just pop in some different bits and pieces here. We'll put some dates in, and then we'll choose our airline uh, estimated cost, hotel cost, and we'll hit our submit button. Now, ordinarily, we'd be taken with a, with our other list forms, we'd be taken back to that list where we can see our list items. But you can see here, we've got a thank you page, uh, and that is all we need to do. So really, really good experience. Um, no need to look at any other list item or the list experience in the background. Now, if I just jump back to our list now, we can see that that, um, that item is going to be uh, submitted and entered into that list, just like it normally would, and then we can take action on that. Maybe a little power automate workflow in the background, some notifications or some other type of business process. 
Now I can jump back up into forms. You can see that I've got this form is open. I can actually even create another form and then have another link that is representing that particular form as well. So there we go, a really quick and nice way to create our data collection um, process by using our new custom form sitting on top of our Microsoft list. Thanks for watching, see you next time.